India Global. India Global. Just a minute before you bite into that chocolate bar. Did you know that the cocoa beans that went into making the chocolate came from a country in Africa? It is the main producer of cocoa and supplies the world's chocolate industry. It is also among the world's largest coffee producers. And if you are a football fan, it is the home of Didier Drogba, who put his country on the international stage playing in three World Cups. Today, we travel to that country, Republic of the Côte d'Ivoire or the Republic of the Ivory Coast. Godiva is located in West Africa, bounded by the Gulf of Guinea in the south. There are several ethnic groups in the country speaking their own language, but French is the official language. The country having been a former French colony. Abidjan is the economic capital and Yamoussoukro the political and administrative capital. and Côte d'Ivoire have traditionally enjoyed cordial relations. India's ambassador in Abidjan, Dinesh Bhatia, speaks of the warm bilateral ties between the two countries. India and Côte d'Ivoire have enjoyed very close and friendly relationship since the independence of Côte d'Ivoire in 1960. India opened its embassy in Abidjan in 1979, whereas Côte d'Ivoire opened its mission in Delhi in September 2004. we have enjoyed a very close political relationship the process of foreign office consultations as well as joint commission was established the first joint commission meeting took place in 2006 during the visit of the foreign minister of cote d'ivoire to india reciprocally we received the minister of state for external affairs of india in abidjan in january this year the visits although has been few they have helped a lot to strengthen the relationship between the two countries Cocoa and coffee exports make up more than half of the revenue earnings of Côte d'Ivoire. Other export products for which the country ranks first in Africa are wood, rubber, palm oil and bananas. It is also rich in mineral resources including gold and exports oil and gas. Côte d'Ivoire is the second largest exporter of cashew nuts in the world and India imports around 80% of Ivorian cashew nuts. Trade between India and Côte d'Ivoire is looking up, says Ambassador Dinesh Bhatia. Trade between India and Côte d'Ivoire has seen rise in the last three to four years. Before that, the trade was almost stagnant, with balance of trade in favor of India. India traditionally has exported machinery, electrical equipment, pharmaceuticals, and medicines to Côte d'Ivoire, whereas Côte d'Ivoire, which is richly endowed with agricultural products, has exported rubber, cocoa beans, coffee beans. and timber traditionally to india in the last couple of years the trade has touched nearly 800 million us dollars and is slated for further increase we are also seeing a large number of indian companies visiting cote d'ivoire and planning to invest we already have presence of some indian corporates in cote d'ivoire doing their business actively in the mining and trading sectors But the areas of potential cooperation in the commercial and economic sector are immense, says Ambassador Dinesh Bhatia. We have tremendous possibilities for Indian participation in the economic activities of mining and energy sector of Côte d'Ivoire. Côte d'Ivoire has huge potential in the mining sector, particularly of iron ore, manganese, bauxite, gold, nickel, and diamond. A large number of Indian companies are looking at these possibilities and I hope in near future these will fructify into actual investments in exploration of these resources. Cote d'Ivoire has also received a mix of grant and soft credit from the government of India for several development projects says Ambassador Bhatia. In the true spirit of South South cooperation we also have a large assistance program for Cote d'Ivoire in the economic field. India has extended over 136 million US dollar line of credit to Cote d'Ivoire and several large projects are under execution. Distance 
tongues and language have not been barriers for the growth of strong cultural ties and people-to-people -people contacts between Cote d'Ivoire and India, says Ambassador Dinesh Bhatia. A large number of Ivorian students are currently studying in India. Also on the Government of India scholarships and under ITEC program, I would estimate that there will be nearly a couple of thousand students studying in various institutions all across India, particularly in Bangalore and around. In addition to this, delegations from Cote d'Ivoire and India have participated in cultural activities of each country. A delegation from Cote d'Ivoire visited Suraj Kund Crafts Mela in February and participated in the cultural activities there. Students from Cote d'Ivoire are availing facilities of Cherry Education from some of India's top universities through distance learning. Facilitated by India's Pan-Africa e-network project, which aims to assist Africa in capacity building by way of imparting quality education to students of the continent. Picture a scene where all work has stopped, so we can catch the latest episode of our television serial in Hindi. Well... What's so extraordinary, you'd ask? But it's happening in distant shores, laughed by the Atlantic Ocean in Kuddiva. Let's listen to Ambassador Dinesh Bhatia telling us about this unique aspect of Indian culture that has seeped into Ivorian lives. The Indian TV serials dubbed in French are extremely popular in Côte d'Ivoire. Currently, there are two Indian serials being telecast on a daily basis by the state-run agency called RTI. These television serials are so popular that, as I understand from my Ivorian friends, that the ladies stop working at home and they only want to watch these serials at that point of time. We are also looking at the possibilities of dubbing more Indian serials and Indian films and to be telecast in Côte they were in near future. That wraps up our visit to Cote d'Ivoire. But before we go, here's a question for you. India has committed a line of credit of 20 million US dollars for this tech project in Cote d'Ivoire's old capital. What is it and where is it located? Send in your answers to indiajourney360 at gmail.com. The first three listeners sending in the right answers will get a music CD from AIR's archives and a DVD from the Ministry of External Affairs. Congratulations, Kiran T. Pandey from Kalyan in Maharashtra, Anuritika Sharma from Pathan Court in Punjab, and Anil Sriramala from Delhi for the right answer to our question on Thailand. India gifted a sapling of the sacred Bodhi tree in Bodhgaya to the King of Thailand last year during Prime Minister Manmohan Singh's visit to the country as a symbol of the shared cultural heritage between the two countries. Until next time, then, goodbye and travel safe. Mm -hmm.